Hello there. I wanted to address a question that came up uh, about how to simulate a glass effect in Moldbox. And this is one idea you can consider, one uh, out of many that you can try. Um, let's, I'm just starting with a simple sphere here. I um, deactivated the grid so that it was not on the way and deactivated the wireframe over here so that it was not uh, in our way there. So you can start with assigning a material for your for your model, right? In this case, it's a simple sphere. And uh, it, let's say you have like, maybe like frosted glass. Uh, you could consider something like this, like reflective bright light. Or if you have something that is going to be very glossy, very nice, you know, nice polished um, um, glass that will ref have a lot of reflections and refractions, you can use a chrome uh, look on your geometry. Um, I would say to try maybe, do you see, see, uh, you know, follow the, the, the whole process that I'm going to take you through and see if the look that you achieve is something that you're happy about, okay? Uh, so the first thing I would suggest is to right click and uh, assign a new material, Modbox material, so that you work on that material. So you can call it glass material, Oops. material. And uh, once you have your uh, glass material identified, uh, what you want to do is come over here on the paint layers and uh, maybe let's say that you want to achieve that, you know, that default selected uh, reflected bright uh, color on, on it. So you can start with that and uh, apply it to your model and then on the paint layers, uh, right click here and say new layer. Okay. And uh, the, the, op the, the attribute that we're going to paint on will be the opacity. Okay, say so, okay. Uh, when you do that, make sure that you select here diffuse only. So that is, uh, we're going to only paint uh, diffuse uh, on the on the geometry. Okay, for for the opacity. Over here on your paint tools, go to your paint brush, and you can then now start coloring uh, or, no, or painting over your surface. If you want everything to be opaque and like, and you're not working on a label, let's say you have a label, uh, then you'll have to work with, you know, the brush settings to make it stronger. Instead of a paintbrush, I will use a, a pencil instead so that you have sharper, e sharper edges around the area that you're going to make like a, you know, a label for your, for your geometry. Uh, or if you do want to all of it to be, um, to be, uh, painted on, you can flood it, uh, which is over here, flood. And that floods with, uh, with the color that, that you have. Uh, in this case, you ha I have selected kind of like a gray. Uh, remember the darker the color, the more transparent your model would be. So let's make it like that. And um, let's say paintbrush, dark gray, done. And flood paint layer. So there you have it, uh, all painted evenly. Uh, you know, that's if the whole geometry will be that way, okay? So the, there you have achieved, uh, you know, a level of transparency and it's just kind of reflecting a little bit of the scene light, the default or pretend scene light right now. Uh, so uh, just so that you see it at work, I'm going to duplicate it, I edit, duplicate, and now we have two models there and I'm going to select one of them and scale it just so that you see the other one underneath. And I think I needed to select it first. Hold on. Duplicate. There you go. And scale. There you go. Yeah. Make sure you right click and duplicate it. That way you have um, I'm just trying to make one on top of the other, like very, very lightly there. You can always edit the values over here on the side. 
but mainly what you want to do is um, leave a little gap because you know that uh, glass has you know see-through properties so you will have one see one on the on one side and the other um, you know you will see the external part and the internal uh, side of the glass together so once you finish it just if it's a bottle you can just shrink it and then that way you have two borders uh, there and you simulate that that part of the um, of the glass you know the edge I left a lot of edge over there so this is something that you can try um, I would suggest to any to try any of the ones that have gloss will be okay uh, for for glass uh, and that way you can keep the properties of shine or reflection depends on if it's frosted glass uh, or if it's uh, you know highly reflective glass and that will allow you to get your um, your model to look reflective and also transparent at the same time and so that you see that it is transparent let's just uh, create a simple uh, simple mesh you know a cube maybe uh, so that you see how how it is there you see that yep, let's get the actual cube not the circle select model and you can see that it does have that little bit of transparency I think I, I had them both selected but if you see when we deselect you see that it's going through you see that it's uh, deselect uh, it is it's looking like glass so it will be a matter of putting it in an environment to simulate the effect of not being hollow or you know reflecting objects from from around okay so i hope this helps and i look forward to seeing you try it out and apply it to your projects